Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, not long ago, I duplicated my six star Diablo, and I was not happy about that at all. Even though it was a first time awakening, Diablo, especially as a six star, is not someone I ever wanted to awaken. He has a pretty bad reputation, and we're going to talk about his abilities and my opinions on him, and then we will take a look at his animations, his damage, uh, a little bit about his mechanics, and how he works. But first, let's take a look at his synergies. So the first synergy is with Loki and Red Skull. These are two champions that you're unlikely to want on your team. They are likely to be dead weight. Now, they, depending on the encounter, can be useful. Loki can take down, uh, I believe it's Act 5, the final boss, the Ultron. So they have their places. However, they are very niche, in my opinion. So if you're bringing them for this synergy, it should be worth it, right? We'll talk about that when we look at his abilities. Second synergy. You recover one life stitch after winning one fight. And that's with Doc Ock and Green Goblin, who are not bad champions, and Doc Ock is quite useful. However, in the majority of cases, you're going to want other people on the team. Next up, he'll recover one Ember Boon. These are his concoctions. We'll talk about it when we look at his abilities uh, after winning one fight. Dormammu and Symbiote Supreme. Now, Symbiote Supreme is very good. I have mine at rank 5. But does it make Diablo that much better? We've got this next one here. He recovers one Iron Skin, which is another one of his concoctions or brews uh, after winning one fight. And it's with Juggernaut and Mephisto. And finally, he has this synergy with the Fantastic Four, where it increases 6% attack. In my personal opinion, that last one is probably the best one, even though it's generic, which means you can get that with other champions on the team. But those champions there, the Fantastic Four, are pretty good. I have Thing and Invisible Woman at rank 5. If I got Human Torch, he would go to rank 5 as well. Um, Mr. Fantastic, he is probably the best support champion in the game. What he does for others is crazy. Alright, so let's take a look at his abilities. So here's the signature ability that my dupe awakened. Experimentation has enhanced Diablo's concoctions, decreasing their brewing time by one second and increasing their duration by a percentage. In my opinion, he does not need to be awakened at all. This awakened ability does not make or break this champion. He remains as he is, whether he is awakened or not. All right, so let's go down here. Now, basic attacks. Diablo uses arcane energy to make his second medium hit, and all heavy hits deal energy damage instead of physical. Really? Well, here's the thing. Say you're in a situation where you want to, to do energy damage rather than physical. Are you going to bring Diablo 
and try to make sure that his second medium hit and do all heavies so that you can deal energy damage? Or are you going to just bring someone else in who does energy damage on their attacks without having to do heavies only or um, worrying about the second medium hit? You know, like, oh, I don't know, Havoc. So I see that and I'm like, okay. Next up, we've got self-experimentation. Diablo takes 35% reduced damage from poison effects. Okay, so he's not poison immune. Uh, and he gains 20% power rate. And he gains attack while he's poisoned. Now, this can be very useful, especially if you're running suicides, and I am. So the Liquid Courage Suicide Mastery will poison, and it's an indefinite poison. It lasts for the entire fight. So that actually works out great. He's taking less damage, and if you are running Willpower, which if you're running suicides, you should be, then you're healing because of the poison debuff and you're taking reduced damage from the poison. So that's actually pretty decent. I like that more than I like those basic attack things. All right, let's take a look at this alchemy. I think a lot of people don't understand how he works. So he's a master alchemist. He begins each quest with a selection of concoctions ready to be brewed. Keep in mind that's each quest, not each fight, but each quest. That is key. That is why I mentioned what I did with the synergies. That's why those synergies revolve around him regaining one after a fight. Because normally he would not. Once he uses it, that is it. Okay? Throwing light attacks allows Diablo to switch which concoction to brew. And we're going to talk about his concoctions. By finishing a combo with a medium attack, he begins brewing the selected concoction. So that means you're going to have to fight a little bit differently than you might normally fight with this guy. If you want a particular concoction then you need to do light attacks and you have to make sure that you do the light attack and end on a medium so that it will activate his concoction. So maybe, you know, do a medium, light, medium, and that would lock that in. You can also just do medium, light, medium, light to switch his concoctions. So you're having to adjust your fighting style to try to select these things in the middle of a fight. Okay? It's a little bit uh, convoluted, right? But maybe it's worth it. Uh, once the concoction has brewed for three seconds, then you will dash back and hold block. That's a mechanic that others have had. Uh, and that will cause you to drink the concoction and get whatever the effect is. Uh, a new concoction can't be brewed until you do that. So once you've locked it in, you're going to need to actually use it before you can get another one. And remember, you're only going to get so many of these per quest. Uh, if Diablo drinks a concoction while the matching concoction uh, effect is still active, then he poisons himself, which deals damage to him. And, of course, poison usually reduces uh, healing. Now, what that means is, say you drank a concoction. Uh, there's one uh, iron skin. You drink the iron skin concoction, and you switch again to the iron skin concoction and then try to do it again, you will poison yourself. So no binging. You only get to do one, and you need to switch to a different one while that one is 
active. All right. So here are his concoctions and they do different things. So you can read what each one of these concoctions do. And notice you have four available each quest. So if you use, if you have like a long fight and you use all of these in one fight, then that's it. Next fight, you've got nothing. That is how he is designed. Those synergies will allow him to regain one after the fight. So while that's nice, I don't think it's worth bringing those guys along. All right. So those are the concoctions. Here's the heavy attacks. In addition to being uh, energy, uh, he des uh, destroys his brood concoction to inflict poison, which deals damage over 10 seconds and reduces healing uh, effects by 30%. That can be quite useful. All right. And here are his special attacks. And you can go ahead and read what each one of these does. All right. Let's look down here. There. All right. So that is Diablo. Now we're going to go ahead and take him into Realm of Legends. And I will play around with him so you guys can see the concoctions brewing and switching and uh, all of that good stuff. So I apologize in advance because this fight took over 300 hits, but we did get Winter Soldier down with Diablo. And throughout the fight, I'm gonna point out a few things. I am not saying that I'm playing him to the best of his abilities, but I did want to showcase his concoctions and some of the things that we read about. So you'll notice with each light attack, the icons were switching to his different concoctions. All right. And I just dashed back, held block, and now I have the iron skin up. And I'm going through the specials just so you can see each, each special. You see life stitch there. One thing I want you guys to note throughout the fight is his health all right now later on i intentionally get hit a few times in fact and i want you to note his health all right not saying diablo is great or anything but that at least can be useful to some folks all right you see i'm switching the concoction as well here now one thing that I did not mention because we didn't go over each of his uh, special attacks, but the special three attack has one feature that I don't know that I used a lot, but I did use. You'll notice I have an icon up there. When you fire off a special three, you get a permanent effect based on the brew that was concocted when you did it all right so that can be useful it'll be a permanent one throughout the fight that's great but remember that each time we're doing this we're using up the four of a particular concoction that we have so in realm of legends for example if i wanted to go through here with diablo well, after this fight, and I purposely used all his concoctions, but after this fight, that's it. If I go to the next fight, I don't have any of those concoctions available to me, unless I had one of those synergies active, and I went in here without any synergies because I don't think most of his synergies are worth anything. So, there is a reason Diablo is almost universally hated and that is because he has these complicated mechanics and they're not really even worth it and you don't even get them per fight 
You know, if you're fighting with, say, Proxima, Proxima has to complete her missions per fight, but she still has those missions per fight. So if I go in here with Proxima and I complete my missions, I'm gonna have a great effect. And when I go to the next fight, I can complete those missions again and have the same effect. But with Diablo, you don't have that. He's like a one and done. You know, he's got four of each concoction that he can make, and that's it. So um, here I got hit, all right? So you see where my health is, right? So just watch what my health does throughout the rest of the fight, and I'll even get hit again. I think I get hit maybe once or twice more, and towards the end, I don't have any concoctions left except the life stitch one. All right, you see, I'm just brewing these up. I'm not really paying attention until the end of the bruise because all I'm trying to do is use up the concoctions, that's it. Um, so if you were in a fight and you needed one of the effects of the brew, you know, one of the effects, for example, was stun immunity. It doesn't last for the entire fight. However, if you brew that concoction and then fire off a special three, I believe you will get stun immunity for the rest of the fight. But say you wanted to use Diablo against the uh, Prove Yourself Mesmerize node uh, in map seven of Alliance Quest. Well, you'll be able to do that for four fights and that's it. And you know there are gonna be more fights, but you might be able to do it for just that section for Prove Yourself. I don't remember how many fights there are, but he might be sufficient to do that. But the question that I always ask is why? Why would you bring Diablo in to do something like that when you could bring in a champion that's stun immune, um, that has an easier mechanic to get to stun immunity, you know, like Emma Frost, Nick Fury, all right? Or if they can't evade you, like you have someone with True Strike, then that's even better, right? So Diablo, to me, is just not very good. I don't think he is well designed um, to be useful, that is. He, he's got some nice mechanics and everything, but they're not worth it. This complicated gameplay, having to think about your combo, you know, and you can see here, I went and made sure that I did medium light medium so that I could get to the empty one, all right? So you see the icons up there and it has a zero, but yet each of my light attacks are still scrolling through them, even though I can't use them. Why? That doesn't make sense to me. If they're not there, then get rid of them so that I have an easier time getting to the one that I want, okay? But no, you're gonna scroll through them. So since I wanted that life stitch, I had to go medium, light, medium, and then medium, light, medium to keep switching. And then finally, I activated it. And then I fired off a special three and look at Diablo's health. Remember, I got hit a few times, but look at his health. Okay, so there is some use. He has some survivability, but in my opinion, Diablo, not a good champion at all. So that's gonna do it, guys. Sorry for the length of the video, but Diablo is bad, and I wanted to do a thorough review so that you guys could see why he has the reputation that he does, and why, despite Anthony and Hyena, if you guys watch this long, uh, why they always tease me about taking my six star to rank two, and why it's never gonna happen. Anyway, take care everybody, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.